Nimbochromus venistus, most commonly known as venistus or the giraffe cichlid, is a species of hat found in Lake Malawi that can grow up to 10 inches long. It is known for its black and yellow blotches throughout the body and a yellow sulfur head. The males get blue in the face and black and yellow throughout the body as well as black and yellow on their fins while the females tend to stay mostly yellow and black. If you're new to the channel, my name is George. I'm an African cichlid fish keeper and breeder, and this is Species Spotlight. In these videos, I share information with you that I've learned throughout the years of keeping these fish, as well as research that I've done on them to help you learn everything that you need to know. If you like these type of videos, consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure to hit that like button. Let's proceed. The Nimbochromus venustus can be found in Lake Malawi in depths ranging from 20 to 60 feet of water. Their diet in the wild consists of only live fish. They tend to eat smaller embuna and pretty much anything that fits in their mouth. One of the special characteristics of the Nimbochromus family is that when they are hunting for food and they see a fish, they will bury themselves in the sand with only their eyes popping out and they will wait for the fish to come close and then strike. Our Venustus has not attempted to do this in our tank, thank God, and he hasn't even gone for our smaller fish. Our Venustus is more of a gentle giant. Over the years of keeping these fish and research that I've done, most people say that Venustus are either hit or miss. Either you're gonna get a big gentle giant or you're gonna get a big bully that just runs the whole tank. As you can see in the video, we keep our Venustus with a mix of peacocks, haps, and buna, and even a Cynodontus catfish, and he is doing perfectly fine. He is our tank boss, but he is not very aggressive. He mostly sticks to himself, but if anybody gets too close, he will definitely push them away. And he also likes to break up fights, which is great. Most African cichlids are classified into five different types, haps, peacocks, and buna, cichlids from Lake Tanganyika, and cichlids from Lake Victoria. The Nimbochromus venustus is a hap and it is only found in Lake Malawi. They prefer a varied diet in the aquarium consisting of a high quality pellet as a staple food and also some type of veggie matter as well. I've fed New Life Spectrum and Norfin, and both have worked extremely well in the past, so I would recommend those foods to you, as well as Omega-1 algae wafers. The Venustas prefer a temperature around 78 to 81 degrees. Just keep in mind, the warmer your temperature goes, the more active and aggressive your fish will tend to be. As far as pH, like most African cichlids, they prefer a pH from 7.6 to If you are considering breeding Venustas, I would recommend the ratio of one male 
to five females in a tank no smaller than 75 gallons. Remember these guys can reach a size of 10 inches in your tank. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you aren't able to get males and females wherever you're located, I would recommend you buy them small and unsexed. Raise them up together in that 75 gallon and form your breeding group that way. For your display tank, I would not put a Venustus in anything smaller than a 5 foot 120 gallon. Like you're seeing on the screen, if you're going to have them overstocked with other types of fish to lower the aggression. We've had this particular Venustus for about two or three years now. I'm going to go ahead and link you to the video when we got him. We did an unboxing. This fish is from Imperial Tropicals and he is absolutely beautiful. The only thing this fish doesn't have is a full yellow blaze coming down to like the mouth that some of them do, but that's okay. And sometimes depending on his mood, you could see him go from having those black and yellow spots to being completely yellow and his fins get all black and that's when he's really lit up and he he looks his best that's what his breeding colors would look like as well I hope you learned something and you enjoyed today's video. If you watched this far, if you could just take one second and hit the like button, that's really going to help me a lot. And if you like this kind of content and are not subscribed, well, what are you waiting for? On the top is my most recent video and on the bottom is a playlist of more species spotlights. Go check them out. Until the next video guys, thank you for watching and I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one.